Oh, it's chilly this morning. Should have put my gloves on. Uh, this might be a bit of a short one because we're off to a funeral today and we're not taking you lot with us obviously because that would be a bit weird um, although maybe that's just a western culture thing and it wouldn't be so weird in other cultures I think when you reach a certain age in life funerals become a bit more regular and a bit more common uh, Brian's been in for, ill for a while uh, and he was a uh, friend of the family. I've known him for a long time. We weren't particularly close, but Kim's known him for probably most of her life. And they were closer. So we're going to say goodbye to Brian today. What I thought I'd talk about is my feelings. Because that's what we're supposed to do these days, isn't it? Talk about our feelings, it's good for us. Um, <laughs> Maybe not in the normal sense. Um, because I'm an anatomist and I work with uh, dead bodies all the time, I think people have think I have a different association with death, which I probably do. Um, but it's not all that different. So I'm not going to talk about the classic things, just, uh, you know, some ways I think I'm a little different, some ways I think I'm the same, and it might resonate with some of you. So you might feel the same way about things. Uh, the more we're, you know, we're all the same, we're all different, aren't we? We have our ups and downs in terms of feelings as well. Death and funerals. Obviously, I feel sad. That's normal for everybody, right? Um, but I'm not desensitised to it. I'm not desensitised to death. In fact, at some periods, I get quite sensitive to it. And really, I think both through family and friends dying, working with the bodies of dead people, teaching anatomy, and rock climbing, which does carry a risk of severe injury and death, but we try to limit it. It all reminds me of my own mortality. It all reminds me fairly regularly that we don't do only have a short time to do whatever it is we're going to do and to be honest I don't think it really matters what we do because we're just these little biological organisms scurrying around the surface of a planet in this vast universe that whatever we do is kind of inconsequential but we're social organisms so I think helping other people and working together is a good thing other things, what about running? Running, running makes me feel that, that normal. Um, so if I'm not exercising, but particularly running, if I don't run, I don't feel normal. I feel a bit off, I feel a bit strange, I feel a bit low. So going running, when I'm, when I'm doing this, I feel normal. What else has happened to me recently? Oh yeah, we were talking about promotion last week, weren't we? Well yes, I did, I failed dismally. All I did was expand on last year's application and make it bigger and yet I did worse. Uh, yeah, it makes you feel sad as well and a little bit angry for a short period and undervalued. Um, but as some of you good commenters reminded me is to focus on what I really care about which is, uh, speaking of which, rock climbing which ties into a whole bunch of other things. Probably one of the reasons I vlog is I get bored very easily. I used to have a blog that's turned into a vlog and I made all these anatomy videos. Um, my boredom threshold is really low. So if I'm not doing something vaguely useful, productive, interesting, I get really bored really easily. And it's a really bad feeling. So that probably spurs me on to do a lot. And I need a little bit of a a little bit of excitement, a little bit of fear, a little bit of a thrill for whatever reason. I don't know if that's genetic or something that's developed as I've grown. And that's what climbing is. In fact, that's pretty what YouTube is as well. So how do I feel when I go climbing? Right, the movement makes me feel good. 
I don't need to do the really hard or the scary stuff anymore because that doesn't give me the same buzz I used to get and I used to search for that buzz but like any drug it got harder and harder and harder to get to the point where now I realised I'm not going to get it and I have been chasing it and working really hard to chase it and I'm not going to get it so climbing the sea cliff a little bit of fear getting above, well I say fear getting above that last bit of gear Looking above, you're not entirely sure you think it's going to be all right. You push on, you get to the top, you succeed. That gives me a little bit of a, yeah, it feels good. Yeah, because it's harder to do risk now when you've got kids. It's much harder. It's not fair, is it? Well, that's a personal viewpoint. So I do try to minimise my risk, but obviously I haven't completely minimised it because I would be worse off if I did, if that makes sense. Um, so bouldering, doing something that you thought was impossible half an hour ago, days ago, weeks ago, that feels nice. Not amazing, but it feels nice. And that's, the, that's part of this YouTube thing. Do you know what it's like producing a video and then putting it online to share with the entire world? That's, that's a little bit of fear. Um, it's... it's <laughs> It's not always a good fear, um, but it's quite nice. And then as this channel has grown, you guys have been really nice. So I've been rewarded by you guys saying nice things and I've found an audience of people that like what I do. Not everybody's gonna like what I do, no. That's never gonna be the case and never should be the case. But you guys are very positive. So you have that every, every time you post a video, partly you feel, oh, I got it done productive and then you're about to post it and you think oh this is a bit scary even though I've got what 400 videos on my channel it's a bit scary of course there's a squirrel just gone he's over there in front of me and I haven't got a big camera and of course the big thing with YouTube right now is that this channel is approaching a hundred thousand subscribers how do I feel about that that's weird um, I don't think I ever really thought it would happen because that's a crazy number and I always assumed something would go wrong before I got to any sizable number something I hadn't thought of something would stop the channel but it hasn't we're almost there really almost there and it's a really nice goal I mean I feel, I feel rewarded, I feel good, I feel, I feel like I've worked really hard for three and a half years putting videos out every week for the first three years for anatomy and these vlogs. I know not many people watch these vlogs and that's fine, that's not, the intention of this channel isn't that lots of people watch it. Um, so to to hit that milestone and to have, to have half a million views last month I think I'm a useful member of society I think I feel good positive, rewarded um, am I going to celebrate? I don't really do celebrations so I don't know I haven't worked that out yet my idea of celebration is hanging off a cliff right? Just had a think. 100,000 subscribers feels amazing. <laughs> That's how it feels. It does, it feels amazing. Squirrel! Hey, squirrel. See, it's what I mean about it. If I have a big camera. So I'm talking about my feelings, but it all seems a bit superficial. I'm talking about stuff that's happening and happened. But, um, I mean, obviously, look at me. I'm, I'm really well looked after. And supported by Kim. It's a she's an amazing person. We met when 
I was 18, she was 17, I'm now almost 46 now. <laughs> and she's the best thing that's ever happened to me, obviously, by a million miles. And she's the only thing that really matters, her and the kids. Um, and I am sad that the kids don't do as much with us as they used to, but then, you know, they're growing up, we've all got to become our own people, haven't we? COVID-19, I joke about university shutting down for two weeks and me teaching all you guys on Twitch, which should be fun, I think, challenging. Um, but in reality, I'm a little bit scared of um, my parents getting it. My dad's got a lung condition, so there's some real fear. That's it then. That's all I can think of. I'll go and find me black tie and white shirt and get dressed and go and say goodbye to Brian and say hello to family and friends. So I'll see you guys next week. Right? Take it easy, stay safe.